and thanks for joining us on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. This year marks the 50th anniversary for a Rancho Palos Verdes favorite, the Admiral Risti. The iconic landmark is known for its breathtaking views and signature dishes, and that pretty much started when they opened their doors. Let's take you back to the beginning with owner Wayne Judah. Let's go back just a few years to when you first came here. I read that you were a bartender. You'd just gotten out of the Army. Take us back to that time and what it was like when you first came in. Well, it was 1969. It was in January, and I was about to get out of the service, and uh, I needed a job, so I put applications in all around the South Bay Area. And uh, on the second day, like a Wednesday, I got home, and uh, the manager of the Admiral Risty called and asked me if I, if I could work that night, 10 bar that night. And I said, sure. So I came out. At the end of the shift, he said, okay, would you like to have this job? I said, sure would. He said, okay, you'll start Friday. So uh, I started that day, which is two days before I got out of the service. And uh, so that was kind of the beginning. Tell us how the name Admiral Risty came to be. Uh, Admiral Risty was named after Barbara Wood. Her uh, maiden name was Ristrom, and her nickname was Risty even as a small child. And Ralph and Risty were children together, and they grew up and got married and lived, were married, I guess, 67 years, something like that. And uh, so he named the restaurant after her. And the Admiral part was she was an avid sailor at the time at the uh, King Harbor Yacht Club, and uh, I think Ralph was one of the first Commodores over there. Wow. But uh, he was a sailor as well, and so she had a nickname there as the Admiral, so that's kind of how it happened. And what were they like? Tell us about them. Terrific, wonderful people. They had a, a real sense of people, a, uh, a vision that uh, a lot of people didn't have, and uh, he was gutsy. I mean, I'm not sure today if he would have reevaluate <clears throat> that you'd have a successful restaurant in a very <clears throat> sparsely located location so who came up with some of the some of the dishes that you still have today I know the flank steak is very popular and you've had that on the menu for a very long time Risty's flank steak of course is one of her dishes she had a particular marinade and uh, that she used and uh, we adopted that marinade and made a couple of adjustments nothing major over the years and uh, that's probably our leading selling item on the menu, although fish overall is, is a big seller today. But on the original menu, we had mostly steaks, we had a lobster dinner, uh, we had one a salad, a salad, no soups, we had artichoke or baked potato. It was a very simple, straightforward menu. And uh, over the years, we've added many, many items now. Uh, we have two soups every day, and I mean, it you know, goes on to it. It's a very extensive menu today. What were the biggest changes that you've seen over the years? Is it the menu increasing, the size of the establishment? Well, I think the major change has been the, the people are more health conscious, so they're eating more fish now than they used to, eating a little less red meat, more fish, and so we've ad adapted to that by providing more of those items for them for the public and uh, we we feel like it's uh, we're listening to our customer so I, we want to give people as many reasons to come as we possibly Sorry. can you know the food the view the ambiance the service the entertainment uh, we have a full service bar and lounge area I mean there's a lot of people come in and graze in the in the lounge area and listen to music and have a few snacks and uh, that's we want as many reasons to come as we can. Was the music always here or when did that get implemented? We sp experimented early with music and then we had periods where we had it and didn't have it and now we have it six nights a week. Wow. So. And where do you find your mus musicians from? There's a lot of local musicians, a lot of local talent and uh, there's a lot of people in that business who are looking for work and so musicians are hard Hard to find the right one, but right. there's a lot of them to pick from. Very so, true. So what we, we've done is we have five different performers working six nights and to give a little different sound, mm -hmm. to get different people coming in so that we give, like I say, more reasons to come for a Wednesday night to hear Scott or to 
Tuesday night to hear Dan or something to that effect. So, yeah. Over the years, many local residents have shared memories here at the Admiral Risty. Here are some of them. Oh, we moved here before they were open, so we've been here coming to the restaurant since they've opened. And, you know, the kind of memory you build is when you go on the menu and you find something that you really like, you come back for it. And the hallmark of the Risti is, frankly, they don't change the recipe. It's deja vu. When your taster is set for something, you come here and it's the same thing again and the enjoyment continues. So did you start coming here in the beginning and then it was just a, a frequented place that you guys, you and your wife came? Yeah, we started here when they opened up pretty much because we were here about five years before they opened when uh, Ralph and Risti were the owners. And we've always found it a great place. The view is fantastic. The food is great. And they don't treat you like a customer. They treat you as a guest. And that makes the dining experience great. Do you have any favorite dishes here? You talked about ones that you like. Oh, yes. Uh, I like their tri-tip. Uh, that to me is is just the the top one. There are a lot of good ones, but that's the one I like. My wife enjoys the uh, almond crusted salmon. The only thing is, I have a problem. I'm supposed to go easy on sweets, but I can't resist their pineapple upside down cake. I I you know. I just succumb. It's just the way it is. You know, my favorite memory, um, my wife is not from California. She's from the Midwest. And after we got married and moved to the South Bay, we had dinner here not too long after we had moved out. And she was just amazed that you could have both, you know, a great meal, but also such an incredible view at the same time. Uh, she's, a, she's a Midwestern flatlander. So having these kinds of views and this kind of ocean, you can't beat it. So you've introduced her to a place now that you guys like to come to. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's a special place. Now, I've lived in this community for 30 years, and I remember coming here um, as a newlywed when um, our in-laws came to visit, and we needed somewhere special to kind of show off our beautiful new community. And we all came here and had a fabulous dinner, and uh, the story continues. And I, I think, Maria, that's what's so, ex um, so exceptional about this restaurant. It has really become a part of the fabric of our community. And so many of our families, you know, come every year for anniversaries, for special celebrations, for, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and that's really, really special. Okay, now, a lot of people have favorite dishes here. What is one of your favorites? Well, I am just a swordfish person. So, I mean, I just love swordfish. So just grilled swordfish is magnificent. That is truly my favorite. Talk about this milestone, what it means for a restaurant like this. Well... I mean, it's an extraordinary milestone, 50 years. Uh, it's, it's extraordinary when a restaurant survives 12 months. Uh, since uh, four out of five restaurants close the first year they're in business, um, the average lifespan of a restaurant is seven years. Uh, once you hit the 50-year mark, you become an institution, right? Integral uh, to the community, part of the community's everyday lives. Um, and certainly, you know, 50 years, uh, there's something special going on, and sometimes you can't even put your finger on it, but it just exists. I was going to say, what do, you, what do you attribute to probably the success story here? Well, uh, I mean, certainly uh, the view ain't bad, um, but I think, you know, the restaurants that survive, you know, this long, I mean, there is a culture that exists. There's a sense of community um, that they participate in, uh, and a lot of times it's the it's the employees. I mean, the core of, of any uh, business, in the hospitality business particularly, uh, are the employees, the people who are serving the customers every day. So I think you know when a customer come, come, comes in and has that sort of warm feeling, and that greeting that they get from the the employees and the servers, then that's a recipe for success. Well, it just the kind of restaurant that belongs here in Palos Verdes. It has the kind of food and the ambience that is just so part of this community. And we moved here in like 64 and, and we started coming here and, and just I've always enjoyed it. And I have a favorite story about the Amaristi. When I had to move my parents down to, um, down here to, um, assisted living 
my mom, my mom would call me up at the first of the week and she says, I want to take you out to dinner and um, can we go this next Friday or whatever. And, and uh, I said, sure. She said, well, I will call and make a reservation. And we came here quite often <laughs> after my husband had died. And, and it was, um, it's always been a nice memory. And we try to come here as often as we can. My kids love it. <laughs> Why do I think it's so successful? Because, well, obviously you've got a wonderful family that founded it, that kept a, that kept a tradition of quality service, always putting people first, and family. See, like he's family. So everybody becomes family, whether you know whether you're here once or whether you're here a hundred times. The people make they Wayne and his staff and the Ristis before him made a point of wanting to make sure that they knew you. They you meant something to them. And you know, of course the sunsets are wonderful to see, but the music here is fantastic. The food is amazing. And uh, it's a gastronomic experience. Well, I think that the shells up above and all of the decorations have a great deal to do with um, the legacy that this wonderful restaurant brings to us. My father-in-law was a general in the Air Force, retired, and they lived up in Washington State. And whenever they would come down here, he and my mother-in-law always wanted to come to the Admiral Risty. It was, uh, was really special, even though they're right there on Dungeness Sound up in in Puget Sound in, uh, in Squim, Washington. Uh, the food here, the fish here, was always better. I'm now being joined by Grace. You worked with Admiral Ristie Restaurant for 20 years. What do you think makes it so special here? Everything is special. The food is good. The help is very good. Everything is just really good. And the fact that it's 50 years now, why do you think they're so successful? What do you think is the key to their success? Well, the always keeping up with everything and you know the food is just everybody just raves about the food it's so good what do you enjoy eating when you come i like the flank steak i think it's definitely the clients i think it's definitely our customers they have been amazing and my dad has changed with the times as well going from pretty much steaks and chicken to a lot of fresh fish. So changing with the times has been key as well. What is one of your earliest memories here? I know you said you didn't really work here officially, but you did. What's your earliest memories? Earliest memory is coming in and hostessing for my parents when they were desperate. So I, I enjoy doing it though. And how about your favorite thing to eat? If you had to pick one thing on the menu? I can't pick one, but I have to say any of the fresh fish dishes is definitely what I would choose. We moved down here in 74, so since 74. Okay. Tell us a favorite memory that you have coming here. My favorite memory is when all our children live elsewhere. And whenever they come in town, the first thing they say is, are we going to the Risty for dinner? And tell me what kind of favorite things that you like to eat here. That's hard to tell. How about for you, Bob? I, I, I will tell you secretly, Sandy loves the lobster. The filet is excellent. And I always get calamari. Calamari here is just, this is where I discovered calamari. So uh, this, is, this is one of my favorite, favorite foods. Well, I will eat crab cocktail for dinner. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a cheat method here. They have some salads that are a full plate and about six inches is tall and if you find one of those you've got a deal it is a meal to believe in it's just wonderful and of course the view isn't too bad either is it well it's the same as from our house so <laughs> so it's like being at home except somebody else cooks for you right exactly. you know, usually what happens is things don't go right at home uh, when it comes to dinner okay. And so I look at Sandy and I say, could it be a risky night? And, and it is, and we come over here, and I've got to tell you another secret about this place is the staff. The staff here is just unbelievable. They call names and they call us by name. And That's nice. It is. And some have been working here longer than we've been living here. And well, that it, says something if they're still here, right? It is, it is it's just fabulous. The, the atmosphere is just wonderful. The staff is wonderful. And 
and the food is out of this world. Jimmy, tell us how long you've been working here at the Admiral Risty. I started here November 23rd, 1985 with a full head of hair. Boy, do I miss it. And you know what? It's not the job. It's just father time and mother nature that took the hair because I like my job. It's, it's pretty amazing that you've stayed in one place for this long. What do you think the staying power is here? I've worked, I've been a restaurant employee my whole life and this place is always busy. I mean, there might be one slow day now and then, but uh, I've worked in restaurants where I've gone in and didn't get to wait on anybody. But here, that doesn't happen. It seems like you also know a lot of people that come in. Talk about that. I've developed a very good table-side resume with my customers. One thing that you have to do if you're going to work with the public, you, every time you see someone, you, you have to, you can't be aloof. You can never be aloof. You can never be grumpy. You have to always show that you care and that you're glad to see them. And it's, it's something I've been able to do no matter what kind of mood I've been in. And it also helps that I know what I'm serving. I know the cuisine. I think it has a lot, a lot to do with the family orientation, you know, family run. Um, and we've changed with the times here at the Risty, and it's just uh, kept kept us going for for what you know almost 50 years now. So, and what was like for you growing up as part of the Wood family? You were a chef here and working with your parents. Well, you know it's always interesting working for your family. Um, I did uh, practically grow up, you know, crawling on these floors when they were building them. I remember them building the building the place. Uh, been a lot of expansions of the restaurant, um, but being a chef, I always wanted them to expand the kitchen. They kept expanding the dining room, and I, I got a little frustrated with that. But finally, they expanded the kitchen. It made me made me so happy. So that was that was a, a high point for me, definitely. I'm sure your parents are smiling down right now. What do you think they'd be thinking? Fifty years here, a lot of hard work. <laughs> they'd be shaking their head heads and saying. I can't believe it's been 50 years. So, but then they've uh, they had uh, many other restaurants, uh, dozens of restaurants in their career. So, uh, but this one definitely was the most successful. And for you, what is what's your favorite things to eat when you come, especially since you are one of the chefs or were one of the chefs? Um, absolutely, fish. Uh, I love fresh fish, and I feel like it's hard to get good fresh fish. You can get a steak almost anywhere, but a good piece of fresh fish, simply cooked with some nice fresh veggies, nothing better. 50 years, has the time gone by fast? Very fast, yeah. It's uh, a lot of time, um, but it doesn't seem like a lot of time. Uh, it's the type of business where I've never been bored. There's always things to do. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Yeah, so tell us about some of the things you're going to be doing for the year, because we're going to celebrate this all year with the Admiral Risty, um, the 50th anniversary. Well, we're going to have a drawing each week uh, that we're going to give away a $50 gift certificate to the restaurant. And we're going to post uh, that person's name on the board who received it, hopefully their photograph if they're up for it. And. Uh, we're also, anybody turning 50 this year will get a, a complimentary dessert. Anybody having their 50th wedding anniversary this year will, will also get a complimentary dessert. So we just want to have fun, have a good time, and encourage people to come celebrate with us. Repeat customers is what we depended on. Uh, today, uh, we have several generations from that group. Yes. Uh, where their children's children, you know, up to four or five generations, uh, come to the Admiralty from the same family. So like we, I remember uh, at this point, some of the original customers were starting to lose because of age. I mean, they're in their 90s now, a lot of them. But their children continue to come in. And uh, so it, it's a tradition now. It takes time to build that tradition. Uh, so after, and this is our 50th year, obviously we have a lot of people. Just recently, I had a lady in who had her first date here, and she's celebrating her 37th anniversary, and she's here to celebrate, and she comes every year. So we're important to her in that she remember her first date was here, and she's continued to uh, come and have a good time. Let's talk a little bit more about your menu, what you have on it. I know there are a lot of special things. I know that some of the recipes also will be given out to some people. Right. So tell us about that. Well. 
Ralph's blue cheese dressing and Rishi's flank steak recipes are available here at the restaurant. We also have uh, our chipino dish. That's a very popular item. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have the cream brulee recipe, which is another dessert. So we have a little of a dressing and a dessert and then a couple of entrees that are available to the public if they'd like. Um, those are all items that are very popular here. Well, the breads, uh, we developed uh, our own bread. We, we bake all our own breads here. Uh, that was a project we worked on for about a year before we actually put it into play and several days a week. I was in the kitchen and a fellow named Chris Cashon and I worked on this bread for a year. And uh, he, uh, he had some good input and we, we called in different bakeries and bakers and we sent somebody to see Nancy Silverton at the La Brea Bakery to get some input from her. So we had a lot of input about how to do it and so we, we bake every day and we, it's a sourdough based bread. Well over the years, in the uh, first remodel it took place I guess in 1973 and uh, each time uh, we expanded a little bit. Uh, here and there, here and there, and, right, and the kitchen's been remodeled, the bar's been remodeled, the dining room's been expanded to take in more of the decking area that was around the building. We found that it's such a cool breeze coming off the ocean that most people say they want to sit outside, but once they get out there, then they'd want to come back in. So we've enclosed those decks and uh, made it part of the restaurant, but we've also picked up more view seating at the same time. Do you do a lot of private parties in here as well? Or? We do during the daytime hours. We have uh, a couple of bridge groups that have been coming here for 30 years. I've got two of them this week. As a matter of fact, they're coming in to pray bridge. And there's usually anywhere from 46 to 50, maybe 60 people come in to play cards. Uh, for 30 years we've been doing that. Yeah. So, and okay. then we do wedding receptions during the day, private parties, any type of luncheon, anniversary parties, that type of thing. During the daytime hours, Monday through Saturday, we do a lot of, uh, oh, baptism on brunch. Sometimes we'll have smaller groups for baptism, wedding rehearsal dinners, that type of thing. We do serve brunch on Sunday. It's not a traditional buffet, but it is a menued brunch, and uh, we serve you, and a lot of people like that. And I'm sure that happy hour is very popular. Actually, uh, during the afternoon, we provide some cheese and crackers and peanuts and things of that nature, and we get a pretty good crowd during the day, especially uh, when there's whale season and you get a chance to watch the whales, that type of thing. We even have binoculars in the lounge area so people can, uh, you know, look at the ocean. And they do. They use them all the time. Over the years, uh, Ralph and Rishi started the, the program way back when uh, to where we discussed who we wanted to, to support in that area. We wanted to support local people who support us. Mm -hmm. A lot of the schools, uh, a lot of the uh, different charity events, the hospitals, uh, mm -hmm. different things. Uh, and we continue to do that. Then people, people's uh, the, the part of our business that's the most important, whether it's an employee or the customer. Right. So, I think that that's the thing that you can never take for granted. You have to you have to respect all of that and work with that to make it continue to happen. So I think the people part of it, you know, the food cost goes up, the labor cost goes up. That's just a mechanical thing. But uh, the biggest part is working with people and uh, getting their best effort and your best effort with them. So uh, whether it's a customer or employee. The Admiral Risty will be celebrating this special anniversary all year long, so come on over and enjoy the festivities. I'm Maria Sorrell. Thanks so much for watching Around the Peninsula, and we'll see you next time.